Welcome to the Joomla Day template introductory tutorial. In this tutorial, we're going to go over the Joomla Day template. This template is based on a event uh, for Joomla. One of the most popular things for Joomla are Joomla Days. Uh, they are worldwide, so we decided to make a template based around that. As well, we're giving this template away for free to all registered user groups and events on Joomla.org. So if you run a Joomla user group and you want to use this for your user group website or if you're doing a Joomla day itself, you can go ahead and contact us and we can give you a free copy of this just as long as you are an official registered uh, Joomla event on Joomla.org. So let's jump right in and check this out. So as you see here, we've got our home page. Uh, we're using our timer module here for a countdown. You've got your buy tickets link. As we scroll down, we've got a quote here from the president of Open Source Matters, Sarah Watts, about a Joomla event. And scroll down a little more, we've got our venue information here. These are all thumbnails using our image gallery plugin, which can open up in a model and you can cycle through them. You've got your map location here that opens up a Google map in a model. Then you can have a link here for reservations for hotels. Then we get down into the speakers area and here we have our demo content for our speakers with a nice little hover here. You go to color and the red color for this style. All of our favorite Joomlers are here. Then you scroll down here and we've got our sponsors and you can view all sponsors become a sponsor. And then we have a Joomla video for Joomla 3.4 and then we repeat the information for the venue and this again is clickable and opens up a map here in the bottom area you have your subscribe area and then we have our links here four links using the Joomla colors our elevator module which takes you back to top and our copyright here so let's go back to the top of the template and let's go ahead and check out the styles now here under our styles, we've got style 1 that you're looking at. Here's a quick preview of style 2. In style 2, we use blue for the base color, and we did a little different styling here for the timer module. And as you see, you scroll down here, and you can see that we have in the background here, this is not transparent, actually. This is just another image, and they're fixed, so it looks like when you're scrolling up, you've got a transparency there. Gives it a nice kind of almost parallaxy view. And then here you've got your hover color. Scroll down a little further. We've got the sponsors with some sponsor people in the background, like an expo hall. And that slide in effects actually gives you a nice little parallax kind of feeling as well. Same with the bottom here. So let's go up here to the top and let's go to style three. In style three, we just use a green for the base color. Again, we have a transparency look. A little different image here in the background. And we went ahead and we made the colors, some Joomla colors here. And the hover is black and white instead of going from color to black and white. Down here to our sponsors, and again to the video and the bottom area. For style 4, we gave you a little bit of a dark style. Again, we have the circular timer. Got some little orange dots here, and it looks cool when you scroll. More of a kind of parallaxy feeling. A little bit of different background image here. Nice little gradient color bar here. And the speakers are all hover with a black color. Same here, we darken this image in the background here. We lighten these for the sponsors. And then the bottom. And our final style here is style five. Which again, it's a blue style, but we switched out the image with a picture of Tampa. We made the venue a circle. We use blue and then the Joomla colors here. And then the same for the bottom. 
So let's check out a little more of the template. We built this out pretty much for a full-fledged template for an event. So you've got your speakers here. This is using a custom override for the Joomla content that we have in there for the staff view. So here's all the speakers. When you click on a speaker, you've got their image, their social networking, and the session that they're doing. The session actually links to the Joomla event manager. And I'll get to that in just a second here. I'll show you how that all works. So let's go over to the schedule now. And the schedule is based with the Joomla event manager component. So if you're familiar with um, event list that was available for Joomla 1.5, it changed into the Joomla event manager around 2.5 and now in 3. So this is a free event component. So what we've done is we've set up our event and we've set the venues as the different rooms here. So we have a main hall, we have our breakout room, and we have the date and time here. So we have our keynotes, we have our lunch, and our closing keynote. So let's take a look at uh, Mike Demo's keynote here in the morning. So here we have the information about the keynote. When is it? Where is it? Speaker info. This links back to the Mike Demo speaker page, which is generated from Joomla content. And then a nice feature that uh, the JEM has here is you can register for the session. Once you've gone ahead and become a member of the site, which we left it up to you for how the login is going to work, we figured for this it would probably work best if they go ahead and they buy a ticket, and then they can go ahead and register for the session. And they can go ahead and look at all the registered events that they have. So it's a good way to plan what you're going to do for a session. So that's one of the reasons that we did want to use a component other than just going ahead and building everything out in demo content with Joomla content. So like I said before, these things are linked here. The speaker info, when I click on this, is going to take me to my demos page. And then we have links here inside of Joomla, inside of the article, to go to the different sessions that Mike is doing. So then we have our sponsors view. And here are our sponsors. And this is just done with Joomla content. We have the become a sponsor link. And this is another one of our Joomla content overrides. This is uh, actually our FAQ override. But you can see we have a nice little hover effect here. And you can go ahead and showcase you know, what different sponsorship levels you have for your event. Now for this template, we have a canvas style menu here on the side. When you click it, you get the fly out here. And for the demo, we've loaded this up with your standard Joomla content and Joomla stuff. All the demos for the blog and the uh, different overrides we have, login form and all that. You can use this. Um, you can have it on for some extra links here. Or you could actually put your main menu over here and not even have the main menu up here. Or you don't have to use it at all. But here's uh, some of the views that we have. We have our blog view. And here's our blog view. Single column blog with some modules on in the right position. Then we have our two column. Standard Joomla content. And then we have the standard category list. Bootstrapped. Then we have an article page. And this article page, we have everything on. You know, if you're familiar with Joomla, you know, you probably don't want to have the voting on or you wouldn't have all of this on. But we've put everything on here. And we put a photo gallery in using our image gallery plugin and our videos here with a plugin. And then you have your links here. So this is just about everything on in Joomla content. So you can see everything is styled nicely. Then we have our article with a J2 store. And we set this up as your Joomla Day um, registration, all access pass by now. And this is using the J2 store component that uses core Joomla articles and lets you put a shopping cart right inside of Joomla content. Now we have some more overrides here. This is our featured right override. It creates a large right image here and smaller images on the left. 
Same with the center. It just puts a larger image in the center. Featured left. Then we have a cascading grid. And what this cascading grid does for you is builds everything out in columns and not rows. So basically you can have this type of layout which is a grid. Normally in Joomla if you had two articles here and this article in the center had a smaller image it would leave a big gap all the way down to the bottom because it's building it out in rows. Building things out in columns allows you to have different size images and create this kind of cool grid view. And then we have our FAQ, which I showed you before, that we're using for the sponsors. We have pricing tables, and this is just Joomla content. Then we have our tags. We don't have any tags in it, but tags have been styled. Photo gallery, using our image gallery plugin again with the models. And then your standard stuff like your Joomla login form, your register form, and so on. But let's go and check out what extensions we actually package this with. Um, we have added K2 support for it. Here is your K2 demo. We've added styling for a Kunena forum, if you want to have a forum. Nice and simple. We've included Virtue Mart. Say you want to sell t-shirts or you want to use Virtue Mart for the ticket checkout. We've gone ahead and we bootstrapped this view. So it's a little better off than just your normal Virtue Mart. We have ACY mailing in here. Here's the J2 store again. And here's the standard uh, Joomla event manager. We've also included a ton of module suffixes. We've included font awesome icon suffixes. So all you have to do is in your module suffix class, put in the name of the icon seen here, and this will give you the icon before your title in your module. So we've got all the latest font awesome version four icons in here. And then you've got your normal color module suffixes. And then we have base colors. Uh, in the template manager, I'll show you how the base colors work in the administration video. But you can set these colors in the template manager and just use the base colors to change the color. So everything will be stylized in the color of your template. And here's the sidelines with base colors. Here's our box suffixes, our base color box suffixes our tabbed suffixes, and our border suffixes. We have some special suffixes here for like trans, if you want a transparent module. This looks gray right now because there is a, no image or any color behind it. Then we have our no pad. This adds no padding to the module. And we have our no margin. It adds no margin to the module suffix. The margin uh, is put on the bottom to space them out. So if you have no marge, things will aligned together. No pad pulls the inner padding. Then we have our page classes. We have a round image page class. If you want to have a round image for your item article, you can just put the page class round image and it'll make only the item page image round. We have a content constraint. So if you want to pull things in a little tighter, that's constrained to a width of 70. We have a region constraint. This takes the whole region here, not just an item, and it'll constrain it in anything you want, region 1 through 12. And then we have a region constraint 50 if you want to go a little tighter. And that's the basic introductory tutorial for Joomla Day template. In the next video, we're going to be going over the administration of the template. And we hope you enjoy the template, and we'll see you in the next video.